Hi Culture Class Travel followers, we are here today in Bangkok, Thailand and we're going to go over some of the finds that we had in 7-Eleven. So we're going to show you a couple different treats and a couple different beers. We are in Bangkok, Thailand and we wanted to introduce to you some snacks that we found at 7-Eleven. 7-Elevens uh, are found all over <laughs> Thailand. So you can find snacks at any time of the day and we just wanted to introduce to you some of the things that we found and um, some things that were new to us. So first up we're going to try a couple beers. So this is called Kiss Me Deadly Crystal Wheat. So it's a wheat beer. It's got a cap which is a little odd and some paper covering on it. <laughs> Make it official I guess. Alright. I guess if you don't finish the entire beer, you can recover it. But who doesn't really finish an entire beer? So, all right, oh, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Very nice golden color. All right. Cheers. Let's try it. Cheers. Hints of fruit. Mmm. Very good. Almost like a Hefeweizen. It's oh. a wheat beer. Not bad. 4% alcohol. It's Bangkok beer. So it is pretty good. Yeah, no complaints. I'm a fan of this one. I'm going to pour a little more in there. All right. It has some body. It does have some body. <laughs> All right, so let's open the other beer. We're going to make sure that we have enough to drink when we try these. So right. that way we'll have something to wash it down. So this one is called Honey. If I peel back the tab there. Honey Bomb. Honey Bomb. B-O-M-B Bomb. Session IPA, alcohol is 4%. Bangkok beer. So this is a local Bangkok beer. All right. Beautiful sound. Hello. All How's my pouring skill? Doing good, doing good. Is that oh, good? Sure. So this is a darker color than the other one. Here's the previous. You can tell the color difference. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. Smells very good. It's sweeter. Not as citrusy. I find it less sweet. <laughs> really? Well, that's interesting. But it smells better, I think. Yeah. It's alright. Which one do you prefer? I think I prefer the Kiss Me Deadly. Yeah. I think yeah. I do too. You too? This one's a little bit more bitter. I'm not much of a beer drinker, so I prefer the sweeter beers. I'll go back and try this one again now. Yeah, the Kiss Me Deadly is a little bit more of a half of Eisen, and I'm a bigger fan of the halves, so fantastic. Yeah. The Honey Bomb, it's alright. Here's your other one. It says it's a Thai craft beer. Yeah. So, so doesn't yeah. really taste like honey. No, not at all. It does not. So what should we start with first on our list? Alright. Let's see, let's try this one. So this is what this looks like. Uh, it says seafood, sa seafood snack on the top and 20% of something. We're not really good at Thai yet, so we're not really sure what it is completely, but it's barbecue flavor. And let's see what it looks like. These strands here. Thank you. It looks like cut up tortillas. Oh yeah, that's a good way to describe it. But smells very, very fishy. Ah. Looks like it's hard to get out here. Yeah. So, ingredients 75% surimi and some tapioca, starch, wheat flour, sugar, barbecue seasoning, salt, chili powder, and soy sauce seasoning. No seafood ingredients. Unless that first one is surimi. I don't know what that oh, is. Yeah. Maybe that's fish. Maybe that's what it is. We'll have is to it, Google that. Yeah, it tastes super fishy. I don't get a lot of barbecue. 
Mm. Do you? Not too much. Bit of a seaweed flavor. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a kick to it. It's okay. It's an interesting texture. It's a bit chewy. Mm hmm. Very much on the chewiness. I don't know. I don't know if I would buy this again. If it were crunchy, it would probably taste better. All right. What would you rate this? I'd probably give it a two out of five. Uh, yeah, I would agree with you. <laughs> two it out has of five. Good flavor, but it lacks a little bit on the texture. Yeah. But hey, 7 Eleven. And, you know, I think I'm not used to a lot of fish snacks, so that to me is a little off. And, you know, maybe we're not even eating it correctly because I think on the back it has oh. a picture of like a microwave and yeah. frying. So this might be an ingredient that you're supposed to use for the rest of a meal. Yeah. But either way, we tried it and, you know, we're here. There we go. Should we do that one, Matt? Yes. All right. So this looks very similar, and it also has a fish on the front. Yeah, taro. Seafood taro snack. All right. Very similar texture. Yeah. These seem to be cut up a little bit more into smaller bite-sized threads. Oh, this actually says it has fish meat in it. You get in the very beginning, a very sweet, salty, lime flavor to it, and then you get a little bit of a kick to it, a little bit more spice. Much spicier. Yeah. Better snack. Well, this one's a little bit better. There's no pictures or microwaves on this one, so hopefully we're eating it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. That's what it looks like. All right. I would say this is worth trying. Yeah. I yeah. give this a three out of five, only because the texture is kind of chewy, but. It's almost it like a good. jerky yeah. esque, but not as thick cuts of meat usually. That's probably what it is. It very well Super could just be jerky. fish jerky, yeah, exactly. All right. All right, let's move on to this one. Okay. This one has chicken drumsticks on here, and it looks like the food looks like drumsticks. And it's got, I don't see any ingredients of actual chicken, but it's all wheat flour and sugar and salt and right. stuff. Look at that. It's very cute. They're little drumsticks. It's almost like goldfish, but drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> These are really good. Very good. Sweet. They definitely taste like barbecue, like barbecue sauce in it. Uh-huh. I don't really get a lot of chicken flavor, which is good, I guess, since there's no chicken in it. Yeah. But it's a really good snack. I think this is my favorite thing so far. Very good. I would rate this five out of five. I would very, too. very happy. Five out of five. I'm gonna keep eating these. All right, what should we move on to next? All right, so we've done the salty stuff. We should move on to the sweet. Okay. So maybe we do the Oreo. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is one we haven't seen before. Strawberry Oreo. So, what does that mean? It means that there's strawberry filling inside of it. Yep. And uh, I'm I'm not looking forward to this one. I like regular Oreos. My dad's always been an Oreo fan, and so I'm kind of an Oreo person. So, That's looks, it looks like, like a regular Oreo. A little pink on the inside, you wanna open it up? There you go. Pink filling. See, I can even smell the strawberry from here. Or the fake strawberry it smells like, actually. There we go. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Not a fan. Strawberry and chocolate go well together, but not in this Oreo. No, not at all. Chocolate dipped strawberries, yes, but... It tastes like strawberry soda, which is generally overly oh. sweet for me. And I think that it doesn't do well with the chop of the Oreo. Just eat the regular Oreos. Yes, just eat yeah. the regular Oreos. Regular Oreos or Cadbury Oreos, which you can find here in Thailand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll do a whole other video on Cadbury. <laughs> All right. How about uh, this one? Finish with this one? All right. Yeah. So uh, this Oreo, what was the rating on the Oreo? I would say oh. uh, zero out of five, <laughs> if we can go that low. <clears throat> 
I'd say if you could think of a good recipe to make it with, maybe I would give it a one out of five. But, but just eating it plain. Just plain is not good. <laughs> Probably a zero out of five. Yeah, not not the best. Okay, next you'll find something that looks like this, and on the back it'll say moon cake, and it has some durian in it. So we're gonna cut into it here. And if you ever had if you haven't had durian before, uh, please check out our video on durian on our first time and our reaction of it. Yeah. And uh, it's the world's smelliest fruit. So a lot of people don't like it. In fact, I can smell it from here, just not even putting it to my mouth. It's not a strong um, scent in this one. It's pretty strong. <laughs> I, I think it's stronger than when you're walking down the street and they're cutting open a durian. Like just smelling this, is it's a very strong odor to it. Yeah, it's not bad though. There are a lot of products in Thailand with durian in it. They even have durian ice cream. And there are over 234 varieties in Thailand alone. So each one has a different flavor and a different smell. Some of them don't smell very much at all. So we're not even sure what kind of durian is sure. in this. It just says durian. Yeah, all a right. little generic. Cheers. It is strong in the durian flavor. Not bad, I like the crust. There's a nice crust. Seems like there's a kind of a nut inside maybe. Mm. Maybe a durian seed. Very chewy on the inside. Texture of like a fig Newton. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. But without the seeds or the goodiness. It's not bad. Not too sweet. Not as bad as the Oreo. Mm -hmm. So if the Oreo was a zero, what would you give this? A one and a half. <laughs> it's not horrible. I, you can't eat an entire round of it, I think, mm -hmm. in a serving. It, this would be maybe a party thing. You have a cheese tray, have this, people cut it up, that might make sense. But just to have this on your own as a dessert, I think that would be way too much. I'd give it a 2 out of 5. I think if this were homemade, it would taste much better. Mm. I think I've had similar products like this, or baked treats like this, that were homemade, that were much better. That makes yeah. sense. And it reminds me of that, but you know, it's at 7-Eleven, so. Yeah. Made in a factory somewhere, you're not going to get all the good ingredients. True. All right. Last but not least. Crunchy Choco Sticks. Cr oh, I'm sorry, Crunky Choco Sticks. Crunky. Not crunchy, but crunky. It looks amazing. It does look amazing. Looks like chocolate sticks. Oh, it looks like it's got little Oreo cookie pieces to it. Maybe not actual Oreo, but um, as long as it's not strawberry Oreo, it should be okay. <laughs> All right, and they come individually wrapped. Kind of cute. Yeah. Let's see. One thing you'll notice about a lot of Thai products is they use a lot of plastic. So you'll get a plastic bag and inside of it will be another plastic bag. Things are very individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. Normally try to stay away from plastic as much as possible, but we do our best. And you know, it's hard to tell what's inside a box. So. Yeah, this did come in a cardboard box. So. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna break this in half. I'll give you the chocolatier part. Okay, that's what it looks like. So it looks like a little breadstick with chocolate and little pieces of crunch wrapped around it or so. Cheers. Right, cheers. <laughs> so it's like those crouton breadsticks that you get sometimes at the restaurants. But this is a little bit staler than those. <laughs> I don't think it works well with the chocolate. It doesn't. It needs some salt or mm. some other ingredient to give it a kick, but it's very mild flavored. It's kind of boring. I don't yeah. know. The chocolate's not even a good chocolate. Like it doesn't, yeah. I don't really taste a good chocolate in it. It's just kind of... Maybe it needs to be sweeter. Yeah. Maybe a little sweeter and saltier, and that probably would make it a little bit better, but crunky choco sticks are... Very un underwhelming. Crunky. Crunky. <laughs> Uh, what would you rate this one? Probably a zero out of five. Oh, wow. The same <laughs> as the Oreo. I don't know if I'd go that bad. I'd go a one out of five. <laughs> that Oreo was just a bad combination. So I would say one out of five. There you go. Yeah. Again, it's one of those things if you could turn it into a recipe somehow. <laughs>
Or maybe it just shouldn't have been made that way or a little <laughs> different. We don't know. But hey, we're not uh, chocolate manufacturers or anything. Yeah. So one last thing we're going to come back to. So we have a little bit of beer left. We're going to give a ratings on the beers now that we've had a little time to digest oh, yeah. and try it. Um, so which one you need a little bit more of this one, right? I think so. All right. I remember which is which. Yeah, this one's the darker one, I think. I think. No, maybe not. I think these are the same. I think that's the same, yeah. All right, well, there you go. You can try this one. So, <laughs> this is the, once again, Kiss Me Deadly. Big fan. I would say five out of five for this one. Really? Yeah. It's good. You know, four out of five, five out of five. It's a really good beer. It is 79 baht a piece, which is like two and a half dollars where that's a very expensive beer here in Thailand. You can get large bottles of Chong, 650 mil uh, milliliters, or uh, Leo or Singha uh, for like 55 to 65 or so. Oh. So you're getting half the product or a third of the product. Yeah, it's 33 milliliters. So half the product for about the same price as a large beer. But the flavor is fantastic. I do recommend this one. So I'm very happy that we tried it. Really? Yeah. I'd probably give it a three out of five. Mm. But I'm not a beer drinker. Um, I prefer the Belgian beers, I guess. Some of the craft beers. This one seems a little bit weak for me on the body and the flavor. So yeah, it's all right. I guess if you need something in a bind, that's oh. what I would say. Wow. <laughs> Well, I think it's better than that, but all right. So now you're gonna try the honey bomb. And if that's a three out of five, this is probably gonna be a two out of five. Yeah, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be lower. Yeah, definitely more bitter. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you finish that. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I think I prefer Chang over these two beers. I prefer Leo over Chong or Singha over Chong. I think okay. out of those three, those are the main three beers that you get yeah. in Thailand that are pretty much everywhere. I would say Leo and Singha are my two favorite of those. Chong is a third out of those. Um, would I still prefer Chong over this? Probably, right. yeah. I would say this is probably a, a, a one to two. It's, it's okay, you know, it's beer but it's not like a really good beer and I won't go back to buy that specific one. Yeah. This one, yeah, definitely. All right, well, that's a wrap. Thank you for visiting with us and learning about all the different treats you can get at 7-Eleven. Of course, there are tons more products and on every street corner you'll find a 7-Eleven in Thailand. So if you need anything at, you know, at the last minute or whatever, these are some of the products that you can try. All right, thank you for visiting. Toodles. Cheers. Cheers. If you found this video helpful or insightful, please like, subscribe, and click that bell for notification of our next video. Also, comment below to share your thoughts. Toodles.